Hi everyone, so in this video we're gonna learn how to remove Powered by Shopify, so let's do this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial we're gonna learn how we can remove Powered by Shopify. So as you can see, if we go down to the footer, all the way down to this text, we can see that we have a copyright logo, we have the year and my store name. We also have this one powered by Shopify, which has a link. So if I click on this one, this will open up shopify.com. All right. So what we want to do in this uh, tutorial, we want to remove this link powered by Shopify. We will leave this as it is with the copyright logo, the year and the store name. All right. So to do this, we're going to go to the back end of your Shopify store. So you see this admin panel, all right? After that, we're gonna go to the left sidebar, click on online store, and we're gonna choose themes, okay? All right, so here we have my current theme. I'm using Brooklyn. This uh, should work on other themes as well, all right? So we're gonna go into this uh, theme and edit the code called liquid, all right? So to be safe, we're gonna copy this theme. We're gonna go to actions. We're gonna click on duplicate. Just in case you change something that you regret. That's why we're gonna create this copy. And we're gonna work in this copy. If everything goes all right, we are just gonna publish this instead. And this will replace the old uh, theme. Right, so now we've got this uh, copy, copy of uh, Brooklyn. Now we're gonna rename this. So we're gonna click on actions and click on rename. All right, so we've got this box. So we're gonna rename this to what changes we're gonna do. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna remove uh, powered by Shopify. All right. So now we know that this copy is uh, removing powered by Shopify. After that, click on rename, like so. So now we have a copy of Brooklyn remove powered by Shopify. So now we can go into the code. We're gonna click on actions, click on edit code. So here we see all the code we can edit in our Shopify store. So if you don't know what you're doing, uh, just don't uh, try to change anything. In this case, I'm going to show you how to remove Powered by Shopify. All right. So now we're going to go to Sections right here. Click on Sections. Go down to this one, footer.liquid. Click on that. So now you see all of this code. We're going to go all the way down. To this place. Right above uh, schema. And find this uh, P tag. So this is the text that we see in the store. If I go back. So this is the text that we see right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to comment this out because it's unnecessary to delete this code. We may want to use it in the future. All right. So to comment this out, we're going to add curly braces, open and close. So if you are on a Mac, you can do Alt, Shift, and parentheses, like so. Open and close. If you have a PC and don't know how to do this, you can Google it. Or we can just copy from this uh, other code, all right? So we're also going to have this percent uh, sign. Two. Like so. And inside here, we're going to add comment. Like so. So now we can copy this code and go under this line 
right here and paste it. And in the front of comment, we're gonna add end. So it's end comment, all right? So this will create this line of code as a comment, okay? So we can just uh, test this out. We can click on save in the top right corner, like so. And uh, I'm just gonna go to themes, go down to the copy of Brooklyn, go to actions and click on preview. All right, go all the way down to the footer. Now you can see that all the text is gone, powered by uh, Shopify and also the copyright logo with year and your store name. All right, so that works. Let's go back to the code. Let's go and click on edit code one more time. And let's go back to sections and footer liquid. All right, and go back to the code. Right here. So now we can copy all of this code within this uh, p tag, copy, and paste it under end comment. Like so. We can also make a space between. So now we want to delete some uh, code from this line. We're gonna delete powered by link within this curly braces and also this br tag line break like so and delete this we're gonna leave this close uh, curly braces and we want to delete this uh, link to with routes.root underscore url and also this pipe sign, like so. So we're gonna leave this code, the p tag, and the class, and the date, and the shop name. All right, after that, we're gonna go up to the top right corner, click on this save button. All right, so now this should work. Let's go to the preview page. So this one is just the original store. We're gonna close that one. And we're gonna update this preview page of the copy Brooklyn. Like that. So now you can see that we have only the copyright sign. We have the year and your store name. The powered by Shopify is gone. All right, so that worked. So now we're gonna go back to the back end. We're gonna go to the left sidebar click on themes like so all right so just to make sure that everything works with your new copy so now we're gonna make this copy that we have removed powered by shopify as our current theme okay this will replace the old uh, theme so to do this we're gonna go and click on this one actions and click on publish. So are you sure you want to publish copy of Brooklyn? Remove powered by Shopify. This will replace your current theme Brooklyn. If this copy works, just click on this one, publish. Like so, so now we have current theme, the copy. We can now go to actions, click on rename, and just rename this copy to whatever you like. So I can just leave it as Brooklyn. After that, just click on rename. Like so. So now we have the current theme as Brooklyn. Now we can go and click on preview. Go down to the footer and now we have the copyright text with the year and the store name and we have removed powered by shopify 
Okay everyone, so this is how you can remove Powered by Shopify in 2020. And also if you want to hire me as a Shopify developer, you can find information in the description below. Okay, so I hope this helped. Okay everyone, so I hope this uh, video helped you out. If you like, you can hire me as a Shopify developer to customize your Shopify even more. All right, you can also subscribe right here for more of these uh, Shopify videos. And also check out my latest video right here. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.